and welcome to Kitchen Chemistry with Essential Wholesale and Labs. I'm Tinica, and today I'm going to show you how to do uh, extracts of botanicals for adding color to your wonderful creations. So let's get started. Okay, so today we're going to, uh, we're talking about extraction methods and um, extracting different botanicals for color for your beautiful creations that you're making. Um, color is really hot right now. Everybody wants something that's brightly colored or has some unusual color or at least looks like the color that it should be for the scent that you're adding. So um, in order to get color and have it be natural it can be very challenging as I'm sure you're finding out if you've tried to, to do this before. So I have a few examples here that I wanted to share with you. Um, I will start with Let's move these aside. I'm going to start with the most striking example. So this is, these are all golden seal. So this is a golden seal extract or a tincture, um, which means that it was extracted through alcohol. So you can make this at home by going and getting Everclear and adding your golden seal to the Everclear. And then, of course, letting it sit um, in a warm place, uh, probably someplace at least at least 90 degrees for um, ideally 30 days, but less is fine. You can check on your tincture and see how it's doing and see how it looks. Um, Golden Seal can also bring nice properties to your creation um, besides color, but um, as you can see, so, so I'm going to slow down a little bit here and tell you. So this is a Golden Seal tincture and um, it's kind of a green color, so it's kind of cool if you use alcohol to extract. This is the same golden seal, only it's extracted through glycerin. So um, with a glycerin extract, it's especially important to keep it nice and warm because glycerin um, is pretty viscous and it's hard to filter out your golden seal if it's not, if your glycerin isn't nice and warm. So make sure you keep it nice and warm. Again, the same instructions, um, about 30 days, 90 degrees or more um, uh, to extract that beautiful, more yellow color. And then we have the golden seal tincture that we made originally. So this nice green color Actually, when you add it to water, add a little bit of water, which is what we've done here, um, it's, 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 only, it's only a bit of water, so it's still well preserved with the alcohol. Um, but you can see it changed the color um, to more of a, I would say, more of a golden amber color. So it's pretty um, interesting how you can get different colors extracting through different mediums. And of course, the difference between the tincture and the tincture with water, which is affecting the color, is the pH. And we have another great video called pH, what it is and why it matters, um, that will explain why pH would change the color. So uh, that's a good example of different extraction methods and the different colors you can get. So we'll just put that aside. And I wanted to show you a couple that I'm working on currently. So. Right now, um, saffron uh, creates a beautiful, beautiful yellow, kind of orangish tinted color. And through both mediums, so through both alcohol and glycerin, you get that beautiful color. Um, however, I've noticed that the alcohol extraction once I strain out the saffron is more vibrant. It's almost neon. And I've noticed that often with alcohol extraction. So if you're looking for a really vibrant, wild color, I would say alcohol extractions are the better way. If you don't want alcohol in your creation at all though, go with glycerin. It's still going to create a beautiful color. And I'll show you another example. This is turmeric, um, obviously unfiltered. Um, turmeric creates, it looks like in in the jars that it creates this nice orange color. The funny thing about turmeric that I've noticed is that once you strain it, it's actually more of a yellow color. And when you add it, especially if you add the alcohol extraction, which is this one, um, to water products, it turns them just this crazy vibrant yellow color. It's really, really interesting to see that happen. Um, again, this is through glycerin 
And turmeric is one that's so fine. It's such a nice fine powder that it's really uh, difficult to strain. So you want to make sure that that glycerin is nice and warm before you try to strain it. Um, and to strain it, by the way, uh, you could simply use coffee filters and keep straining until your um, glycerin is completely clear of any debris. Uh, you want to make sure that you don't have any leftover material in there. And finally, purple. Oh my goodness, purple is one of the hardest colors to achieve naturally. Um, we struggle with it often. And uh, this, this happens to be blueberry juice powder that we've extracted through um, glycerin. So the darker colored one is actually glycerin and the lighter colored one is alcohol. And I find this interesting because most extracts, the alcohol extraction is much brighter. However, with, the, with this particular blueberry juice powder, obviously the glycerin extract, um, you're getting a richer color. So purple is one of those colors that is very pH sensitive. So you may find you create this beautiful purple extraction, add it to your product, and all of a sudden it's either blue or red. And that is exactly um, the effect pH has on color. So uh, be sure to watch that video so that you know how to adjust the pH if you're adjusting for color. And uh, we hope that you enjoy this video of different extraction methods and um, different extraction mediums to get color. Uh, thanks for joining us. Uh, you can find a description of how uh, to do the extractions by clicking the more button on this video. And uh, please subscribe for more great videos.